Welcome back. Any messages? You have no message. Hey! Barton, we got the results back. Nice. And? They love the movie. They think it's a masterpiece. But... But... The shootout at the end. They feel it was too violent. But that's the ending of the movie. I know that. They believe the last few moments of the film could be less violent. So what's the problem? They've given the film an X rating. Fuck me! An X? You gotta be shitting me! Yeah, but that's a realistic amount. We, we literally measured it. I'm sure it is, but they don't feel that way. Fuck them. It's my movie. I'm not changing it. I know it's your film, but it's everyone involved in this film also. Yeah, and just like you said, everybody who's seen it thinks it's fucking oh, brilliant. Me. If you release this film with an NC-17 rating, it will be finished before you even That's start. fine. It's my movie. And I love it the way that it is. But, listen to me, it won't make money. <laughs> so, I didn't do it for the money. I did it for me. It was my, it was my dream. And now, it's my masterpiece. Listen to me, Barton. You don't have final cut. I'm giving you this warning because I like you. I think you've got great talent, but if you don't make changes, I'll cut the no, myself. not one fucking frame gets cut. Do you hear me? What about the producers who took a risk of letting you direct this film? Sure, we all loved your script. But David, come on, man. Doesn't make you a good director. You can't be fucking serious. Don't, don't do this to me. You said it yourself. You thought it was fucking great. Listen, Bart. For every Tarantino, there's a hundred other guys who fell miserably. 
We can't afford that here. Our producers can't afford that, and you can't afford that. You have until tomorrow to make the changes. If I don't hear back from you, I'll change it myself. <laughs> Hey, baby. Bart? You called me several times. What's wrong? They want me to change my movie. What do you mean? Filming already wrapped. They want me to make cuts. Who does? The studio. They showed it to the MPAA. And they gave it a... NC-17. So now, I think that it won't make any money. Who cares how they feel? It's your film. They have Final Cut. What does that mean? It means that they get to decide the final version of the movie. I thought it was your job. It's not in my contract, so legally they can do whatever they want. What do they want changed? The ending. They said it was too violent. <laughs> Is it? <clears throat> well, it's life and death. So, of course it's violent. Yeah. Our hero is stuck without escape. And so, he just starts to, you know, shoot his way out. And when he knows that it's over and he can see the end, can't take it anymore. It's beautiful, actually. Puts a gun to his head. And boom! He blows his brains all over the wall. <laughs> that sounds a bit extreme, Bart. Extreme? It's the ending to my movie! It's fucking awesome! <laughs> Do you really think altering the ending will change the entire movie? Yes! It'd be fucking ruined! Are you drinking? Yes, I am. You shouldn't be. You know what the doctor said. About last time? Yeah. But I just want to relax. Can I just enjoy it? Is that okay? I'm really worried about you, Barton. I'm worried about myself! What does that mean? It means that I'm fucking stuck. Right? Like, I can't move forward. I have to make, I have to make these changes. I don't have any choice. But then, I can't, right? And I won't. Barton, this is the business. It's about making money. Producers are not concerned about the artistic quality. I don't know. I don't know!
Eric von Stroheim. <laughs> he knew what to do. He made a movie called Greed. It was like 1924, and his movie was like nine hours long. And MGM thought that that was just fucking unacceptable. So he reluctantly cut it down to like, I don't know, four hours. And then there was this fucking asshole. His name was uh, Irving Thalberg. And he was the head of MGM. And he took that shit over and he fucking chopped it down to two hours. And that fucking dick took all that extra film and he fucking destroyed it. Of course, it went on to be a box office disaster. What had been a marvel of, of cinema was reduced to garbage. What did he do? But Strawheim got a little bit of revenge. The next time that he saw fucking Thalberg, he almost beat him to fucking death. They didn't try to touch my film. Barden. I don't know if I could act rationally either. That was years ago, Barton. They didn't know any better. People make mistakes. And you have to live with those mistakes. I know you love this film. Trust me, I do. But after this one, you can make another one just the way you want it. You're not listening, Julia! <laughs> this is my fucking movie! Don't you understand that? It's not right! It's not... You, it's not fair! I won't... I'm not gonna let him do it! Do you think you're the only one who's had this happen to them? Of course I'm not the only one! They do this all the fucking time! There was one of the greatest gangster movies of all time. Sergio Leone made Once Upon a Time in America. And they fucking ruined that too. It was like four hours. And they're like, no, it's never gonna make any money. And they fucking chopped it to like, Two hours. What happened? That's the best part. He fucking died. He died before he could ever see what they had done to his movie. He died only knowing his vision. Barden. Ignorance is bliss.